Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, an introduction to Fourier synthesis. Fourier's theorem states that a periodic wave, frequency f, can be synthesized using sine waves with frequency f, 2f, 3f, 4f, 5f, etc., the harmonic series. We're going to look at a visualization prepared by Quantum Kiwi for YouTube where sine waves constructed together here make a square wave. In our chapter we'll learn that we only need odd harmonics here, odd frequencies for the sine waves, and notice that the curvy sine waves start to take on in terms of the sum of the sine waves the nice square type of feature. Also note that you get the rabbit ears effect. These Batman ears do form in these synthesized uh, series and these will close shut as you add the sine waves on and on as you go to infinity. However, a point will still overshoot here this plateau line. So you do not have perfect mathematical convergence or you know exact mathematical synthesis. However, if you compare the area of your square to the area formed when you do your synthesis, you do have a match. In acoustics, we would say that we have a perfect acoustic match. So here we go, ironing out those wrinkles. Those wrinkles get ironed out as we add more and more, and look at that marvelous square formation that we have. This program does about 50 harmonics. And for the square wave, you just need the odds. For the ramp, or the sawtooth wave, you need both odd and evens. And once again, the ripples get ironed out as you add more and more harmonics. So here we'll need all the harmonics, even and odd, as we use the 50 uh, harmonics. Triangle is last, and triangle just needs odd harmonics. And notice that with the odd harmonics for the triangle, you get the triangle rather quickly. Very nice excellent triangle here arrived at very very fast. Well this uh, mathematics that we have here sets us up for the chapter. The A sub n's here tell you how much of each of the harmonics you need see when you mix things together and the N here stands for 1, 2, 3, 4. They're your sine waves with the different frequencies and for the square and the triangle, n is odd, and for the ramp, you need n to be odd and even. This is a phase part here because the sine waves do not need to all be like lined up in any special way. Uh, you can shift them left or right. You have that degree of freedom. You're not forced to start them all out the same. So this gives you more freedom to make more periodic waves, and this constant in the front simply raises or lowers what you're getting. I would like to show you how to transform the series to the standard series with cosines and sines using a trigonometric identity. We're going to cash in the phi sub n's and introduce the cosine with the sines here with different coefficients. We do that with this trigonometric identity, the sine of the quantity alpha plus beta is cosine of alpha times sine beta plus sine alpha cosine beta where the angles have been simply flipped here. So we try that. Here we have the cosine of alpha will be the cosine of nx and the sine of beta will be the sine of phi sub n. And over here we'll have the sine of nx times the cosine of phi sub n. Now I can consider the sine of phi sub n as a coefficient a sub n that multiplies cosine nx and my cosine phi n is a coefficient b n that multiplies my sine nx. And so I have arrived at the standard form for the Fourier series which consists of an overall constant term and then your cosines with coefficients and your sines with coefficients. Our chapter will explain how to use this and how to calculate the coefficients so that we can find the recipes for the various periodic waves we're trying to make.